Welcome back, adventurers, to Never Alone. We just found our destroyed village here back home and uh, a spirit that will help us, hopefully. I think... No, we cannot climb up there. Or maybe we have to switch to the fox. There was a little creature there in the bushes. Oof, more destruction. And there is something. What is that? It's laughing at us. Oh, maybe the wind can help us get across? Let's try that. I don't know if we have to go with the girl or her. Oh, yeah, 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 it's working. Get down. Where do we continue, though? Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see if we can see something on the other side. Maybe we should try to ride on the wind again like now that works but fox is not coming yeah i think we have to try and get fox There are these creatures, they're laughing the whole time. I wonder if there was something down there. We are still in the village. There's a burning hut back there. Yeah, and this must be part of the village too. Oh, there's another spirit. I think we have to climb up like that maybe but I'm not sure if I can reach it hmm oh I can jump over it that's funny okay oh yeah 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 we can reach it Okay, come up. Hi, Gwen. Today, I like to in your room. I rock up big. The old man. Can I go home? My Elise manek pama. And we have the owl, two owls. I, excuse me, I had to cough. <laughs> uh, so sorry. Um, I think his pipe is a, scrim a scrimshaw, right? So it tells a story. I wish I could read it. And I don't think we learned a new insight. But there is another owl. The heartbeat of the community.
Drum is something that's common to all cultures in Alaska. All cultures have a drum that may have some stylistic differences or differences in the materials that's made, but it's still a recognition of life and vitality and the drum mirrors the heartbeat and when you continue drumming soon it will be in line with your heartbeat because that's what it's supposed to be the heartbeat of the community and it symbolizes vitality and it's it's the most tremendous feeling to be in a room and to have one long row of all the drummers and to have that feeling of unity and everyone beating in harmony, the drum beat in unison, it's the most beautiful feeling. And to know that you're connected, you're on the land that you are connected to. And even if you grew up outside of the community, that which is in you comes from this area. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. Man, I went at it and look what happened. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. I mean, music unites us all, doesn't it? No matter where in the tr this world, to which community you belong, there's always music. Oh, I can't. There we go. I hear those creatures again. Did they steal the drum? Oh wow. What are they? Down there is an owl. I think we can ride on the wind again. If that is a good idea. I don't know. They're running away from us. Can we? If I go as the fox. Can I get up there? No, I don't think so. So maybe we have to get down and follow that one guy? It seems so. <laughs> Little people. They're just like other people. They just happen to be very small and extremely strong. These are stories that are common throughout Alaska. It's normally that people are you know, size from your elbow to the tips of your fingers, and they possess superhuman strength. So they may be tiny, but they can carry a whole caribou. And if you go up north and you talk to a number of the people in the community, they'll talk about having seen the little people. There's a place at home that we know but we don't profess it to anybody. But it's not like the boogeyman. They can be mischievous, they can be ornery, or they can be helpers. And every now and then, we might have the opportunity to see them, especially if they want us to see them. The fact that it's across Alaska really tells you something about our history and how we interacted with nature around us. That is so cool because other northern countries like Norway and Sweden do also have like little people, trolls and such, and gnomes and yeah, little creatures that live in nature. And uh, they're mischievous too. Okay, we can grab an object. Uh, oh, there we go. Come on. Ah. She's only doing the animation if I um, also press a direction. Okay, cool. So we have a crate. Let's first see what we have to do with that. There's nothing big there. 
And what is here? Darkness. I can see her breath. It's pretty dark. Ah, maybe we can jump up there. If we push the crate. <laughs> Fox is riding the crate. That is awesome. Okay. Can we now grab that? No, but wait, maybe with, with Fox. And now he can get the rope. Nice. Okay, where are those little guys? Um, I'm not sure if we should just <laughs> jump down. Yeah, we can. But wasn't there something up there? Let me try. No, I cannot go back. I thought there would be something here, but obviously not. I hear the drum. They do have the drum. Oh, these little guys. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Come on, run, 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 run. Uh oh. <gasps> what? They threw a burning stone down on us. That is so mean. Oh, wait. Now we go here, then there. Oh, maybe. Ah, we have to get him to bring all his uh, stones towards us or burning, whatever they are. Can I now just interrupt? But now we have to get out. Oof. It didn't burn us. There's another crate. Where can we put that? Oh, we can just get up, I think. Maybe? Huh. Maybe not. Or maybe I did it wrong. Come on. There we go. And there's the rope. Ah, it goes down there. Oof. Ah, I know, I know. No, 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 Fox. You stay where you are. And we get that. Great. that enough i wonder it is Ooh. Ooh. I choose to <laughs> okay, I think we can continue. Bola.
The bola is what we call kilami town. And the kilami town is made out of braided sinew tied out to some heavy bone which you could twirl. In my case, we're catching ducks. When we're out uh, whaling, sometimes the ducks start flying. And they're good for duck hunting. You know, uh, if you're a whaling crew, you can't make too much noise. So you can't use a shotgun for um, getting some duck soup handy, you know? So bolo was a really handy weapon to use for catching ducks. You know, the ducks fly in, you throw it up and tangles up the bird, and down they go. Huh, I bet it's not that easy, but it sounds easy. How do I use it there? Ah, okay, not like that. But do we get it back? I think so. Oh, how does Fox? I cannot climb ropes. No! Come on, you can do it. Ah, we are here again. Oh no. But it's a bridge, I think it's okay. Hold and aim bola. No, not like that. Oh, we have to get down. Okay. Um, we aim, I think, with our arm. Yeah. Oh, and then a spirit appears. That's cool. Will it, will it get us up or can we just jump? We can just jump. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, and that must be a bowler target too. Oh, I can also switch characters with my mouse. Ah, that's what I was doing. Okay. Ooh, there's a fireplace. Who has been here? More wind? No, we are good. But oh, oh, get down! No, 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 no! could have done that and get across oh no oh no <laughs> oh that was terrible i'm sorry it's gone okay okay we there it is we could have used that and get across easier but ah i see because i can uh, sneak through there right so let's do that. We go back with the wolf or fox and this time we don't mess it up. Hopefully. Yeah. <gasps> Come on. Oh man. It's a bit slippery up there. And then... Oh, I thought we could get down. Okay, that is not the case. Um... <laughs> then we go down with the fox oh it follows me okay that's awesome i see and now we can bowl out the second one here ok 
Okay. Ooh, nice. Ah, uh, maybe Fox can do that? Yeah. Uh oh, oh, wow, that was close. Get down. There's another thing I can bola. Okay. Oh, I cannot reach it. <gasps> Fox. Be careful. Maybe I have to use the wind. Okay, for Fox it works. But does it work for the girl? Let's let's get to the other side. Yeah, okay. Now let's try the same Oh no! It's gone. Will it come back? Ooh. So we have to do it together. Okay, let's wait for the wind. Ah, she can't do it. But she can jump higher. Okay, I understand. Let's uh, do that then. Then fox. Come on, wind. Nice. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. Can we bola him? Oh, no, we should bola that. Oh, no, no, no. Tabra evaktane. Taudukai. Okay, we, we don't... We can't waste time dealing with him. Run, 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 run. run. Oh, gosh. That is terrifying. Don't look back, just run. No, no, no. Oof. That was very close. Can we hide here? Oh, he just stops. So we can't hide. not that easy it's inverted i think <laughs> it's really weird Whew. Following that, it stopped briefly and then became windy all over again. It was difficult to see anything in the blizzard.
stranded. The scaredest I've ever been. I was 12 years old. We floated out on a piece of ice uh, while we were duck hunting. It was a bluebird day, just clear blue skies. And there was three of us, myself, my brother, and my dad. Next thing you know, we see this dark, dark shadow on the ice. Uh, we look and it goes behind us. So we, we all jumped up startled and uh, my dad, he started running. We got back to the ridge there. The, uh, the ice had fractured, cracked and broke off and we were floating away. We were, we were drifting. <laughs> It was close enough to where my dad would have made it. He stopped and he thought about throwing us across and if one of us was on the other side, we would be split up. So he stopped and he just so happened to have a, a cell phone on him. 911 didn't pick up. <laughs> That's the worst feeling in the world right there. 911 did not pick up. So he left a, a message because they record their calls. Once he had relayed that information, his cell phone died. That was the scariest moment I've ever had in my life. We were floating away and I thought we were left for dead. Uh, he kept calm during this situation. Uh, he's bringing out everything positive in this case. You know, I'm crying, my brother's freaking out. It went from clear blue to dense, dense fog. Within a couple hours, we heard the chopper flying around, so they must have gotten our message. We thought we were saved, and then the chopper sound went away. So we lit some of the sled on fire. It's plastic. We thought black smoke in the fog would create some kind of marker. Chopper pilot uh, had mentioned uh, when we got rescued, you could see a glow in the fog and he slowed down there and sure enough as soon as he slowed down uh, we got within visual that was definitely the scariest moment of my life was floating away and not knowing what the outcome was going to be that is absolutely terrifying and i wouldn't have the guts to make a fire on ice Oh my goodness. Oh, look back there. I think there are seals. Yeah, I hear them. Uh-oh. What was it then? Oh, we cannot continue. So, um, I think, and there's something bloody there in the background. I hate it already. But I will end the episode here and in the next one we will find out if we can use our Ola to get through that ice. So, thank you so so much for watching. Have a wonderful and adventurous day and goodbye.